Rich Wilson aboard Great American 4 and I'm going to do another little video primer about the storm that we're in. So I turn the camera around here and uh, aim it at the screen. Here's the Pacific, Australia, New Zealand, Chile and Cape Horn. That's our goal over there. This is where we have a weather chart for. These are all my icons for where I've been testing different scenarios. High pressure system here. Here's our storm rotating clockwise <coughs> in the southern hemisphere. We're in the northern hemisphere. <coughs> it would be ro rotating the other direction. Here we are. Here's our group of four. Eric Bellion, the head, and Arnaud Boissier, Alan Rura, and Fabrice Amadeo. And so where we are now with these wind barbs, this shows three full barbs plus a half barb right where the cursor is. That's 35 knots. On the far side of the storm, it's uh, much stronger. Uh, 40 knots of wind right there. We've had 40 also. Um, 35 to 40 is what we have right now. You can see up there in top left, uh, 35 knots of wind. And our boat speed is 13 knots. And uh, so <coughs> the challenge has been that the storm is moving from the west to the east at just a little bit faster than we're going. And so we're right on the edge of these strong, a little bit stronger winds, and we don't seem to be making progress through the storm. We'd like it to overtake us and continue along. Then when we get in the, this part of it, as it moves past, it'll be a little lighter wind. The wind will shift direction completely, start coming from the south rather than from the north where it is now. And uh, in the middle of that, we'll tack uh, to get on the other, the other jibe. And uh, so that when this comes along, we'll be able to go on starboard jibe. We're on port jibe right now. And uh, we have now three reefs in the mainsail on the storm jib up. And uh, we're taking the wind about 110 degrees off the port side from the bow. So uh, well, that's kind of what's going on. I'll show you. There's another little. Uh, a little coloring here that I looked at. This is every two knots of uh, increased wind speed. And so in this area right here is a little bit darker color and that's a little stronger winds. And we've been just on the edge of this for like the last six hours. And it's quite frustrating because you'd really like it to overtake us and be in the strong winds and then be in lighter winds out the backside here. And then uh, we'll try to make some more north to, to escape this part as it comes along. We'll see how that works. Um, but that part's been a little discouraging as we just don't seem to be making too much progress on it. And right here you can see this is the minus 0.6 millibars per hour on the barograph. So it's not overtaking us very fast. There's another um, piece of this that we could look at as well just to take that off is um, the waves. We have a, a uh, group file for the wave height and take me a minute to get this sorted out because uh, it doesn't uh, let's see here oh, I gotta go into this part and put it up there we go click that checkbox and then back off to now so here you can see again here are the two sides of the storm this is the side we're in with the north winds. This is the side with the south winds. And right here is going to be bigger waves um, than we have on this side. So if there's a, any kind of a silver lining here, it's that the, the wind has come up sort of slowly and consistently. Uh, we don't have you know, 50, 60 knots of wind, 35 to 40 knots of wind. It's come up slowly. When it comes up fast, you get steeper waves, which are harder for the boat than uh, these slightly longer waves, uh, but we're still having every once in a while crashing onto the boat. Um, they sent, made a video looking at the stern of the boat and you can see that up on the website too. So anyway, that's uh, our little primer for wave height here. We're looking at uh, three to four meters here and uh, then up to, well, let's see, what do we got over here? We got six, six meters. So yeah, just on the edge of the six meters, three, four, five meters where we are now. And um, then over here, that part, hopefully we'll avoid that part 
up to seven meters, so it's uh, bad. So that's it from uh, Great American 4 for today. Off and clear.